Good morning. It is a Thursday. It's 4.50. I'm just getting ready to leave. We just got done with our very first winter storm and it's snowing again. We got two inches out there. There's probably another inch on the way. It's not quite over yet. And then right away tomorrow, there's a winter storm watch. They're talking about six to 10 inches of heavy wet snow again. And uh, on the backside of that, it's going to get bitterly cold below zero. So it's been a pretty snowy week. Uh, today I'm going to have Eric and Francisco come in and I also have Tino and Big Ray coming in. So Big Ray is still helping out once in a while. Uh, you guys will still see him around. Um, we are leaving, Eric, Francisco and myself are leaving for the world of concrete. Uh, that's right around the corner. And I did want to mention that we are having a meet up there. That's going to be Wednesday, January 24th obviously at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And we are gonna be in the DeWalt booth, which is outside. It's one of the really big tool booths. You can't miss it. And we are gonna be there between one and three o'clock p.m. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of hats to give to you guys. Um, obviously the supply is limited, so try to get there right away. Uh, but I'm hoping to see a bunch of you guys there. Uh, it should be fun. So I have a couple shout outs this morning. The first one goes to Jim. That's all the information I have. He wrote me a note and he sent me some coffee and this one here i had some last night i dipped into the bag and it is really good coffee uh no i'm not promoting the brand i'm just telling you it tastes really good and then uh from brooklyn new york anthony he sent me a garbage truck and i believe he's a garbage man and it says the delusional garbage man so that's pretty cool all right i'm gonna put my boots on and yeah, the coffee shop's gonna be just open. Uh, I'm gonna get my little workout in, believe it or not, this morning as well. And then I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. It looks like we got a couple inches right now and it is still snowing. I do have a bit of bad news. I know it's dark out here, you can't see very well. But what I thought might never happen actually happened. I have both my trucks here in my driveway and it's because the F-350 is dead. It is broken, something is wrong with it. So last night I went to start it and leave and it just cranked and cranked and cranked and it will not fire whenever i was debating with myself the other day in the yard if i should put the salter on this truck or not i'm glad that i did really glad that i did so i'm glad i have this truck the snow that's coming on uh friday well tomorrow it's going to be another really heavy wet slushy snow hard to move and then right afterwards it's going to be below zero temperatures so we're going to have to uh we're going to have to keep up with that i'm not looking forward to below zero temperatures it is 4:20 right now and i'm going to go do my work clothes workout for about 15 minutes and then i'm going to meet the guys at about five o'clock i'm going to show everybody everything and kind of train them I think this is a little worse than what they thought was going to happen. They were saying an inch and maybe two, but we got two already and we'll probably get another inch on top of it from the looks of the radar. Okay, it's 4.35 and I'm just pulling up to the gym. So I'm going to do this little 15 minute workout and get out of here. That's all the time I have today. Hello. Big Ray. How's it doing? Are you over, are you over there now? Yeah, me and Fred. Okay, I'll be there in like six or seven minutes. I'm just waiting for a quick trip to open so I can get my coffee. Yep, sounds good. And Eric's like 20 minutes late anyway, so. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good if I had my wallet, too. Hang on a second. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, let's go say hi to the guys. I'm almost to the guys, but I wanted to mention this. They were just talking on the radio. The Wisconsin DNR is starting to complain about salt usage, rock salt in the winter. They just said that 
if you have a driveway average size 20 foot wide you should only use one coffee cup full of salt and that should get the entire job done the reason i mentioned that number one is that's absolutely ridiculous you're not melting snow and ice off an entire driveway with a coffee cup of salt but the reason that they're saying ridiculous stuff like that because i believe that uh, one of these years it's coming where they're not going to allow us contractors to put down rock salt and if we do we're going to need a permit we're going to have to meter it somehow they're going to restrict how we use rock salt it's coming mark my words probably in the next five years you're going to see what i mean mike's here there goes mike i know he's loving a skid loader so much easier to plow in a skid loader than a pickup truck so much easier so much faster unless you got big open lots or streets or roads uh, skid loaders are man they're fantastic for these parking lots that have obstacles in them okay i'm just pulling in over here i got the plow down two to three inches right now probably between two and three i would say right now but Francisco and Ray should be back here. What's up, Big Ray? Are you late? Why am I late? Oh, my. Why am I late? Yeah, where you late, right? Because somebody was in the gym this morning. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. You, you, you can't tell? Man, I'm, yeah, I did. I, I didn't go work out. When you got out the truck, talking about that. When you got out the truck, it seems like you're a little bit more like yeah, this. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But, Once they get here, we'll, we'll start. Okay. Because I got to take Tino and you. Basically, I brought you guys here so I can show you what to do. Because we're all leaving for the world of concrete. And it's going to be on you and Tino when we're gone. Tino, me and Tino. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only reason Tino's late is because Eric didn't pick him up. Tino started texting oh, me this morning. Man. He's like, Eric's not here, boss. What should I do? <laughs> so I started texting Eric. And then finally, when Eric woke up, he texted me. SMH. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting in my truck for a while. Okay. The snow's not done anyway yet, so. No, it's not. Yeah. Why don't you jump in the truck with me, Big Ray? I'll show you the sidewalks first. Sounds good. All right, I'm gonna take Big Ray around and show him what's up. Eggs. Yeah, it's good. Breakfast, yeah. I wish I had some. Yeah, that'd be good. You want an egg? I love eggs. Yeah, have one. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna start working out too. Where? If you come by me, I'll pay for your membership. I'll come by you. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I lost over 10 pounds already. Wow. I've been lifting weights and doing a little bit of cardio. I've been eating good. What are you doing here so early? Why aren't you pushing? Take it easy. I will. <laughs> Everything will be perfect. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Are you exercising again? Really? Yeah. So he and I are going to train for a half marathon. Really? Yeah. Man, I'm trying to train for half a block. Yeah, whatever. I'm serious. <laughs> All right, have fun. Yeah. Half a block. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> I'm serious, Ray. I don't know if I can run half me a block. Me either. If somebody was shooting at me, I might be able to run half a block, <laughs> but that's it. I that's tried it. that already. Yeah? I couldn't run for half a block. <laughs> So when we're in Las Vegas, you can call, text. I mean, it's not like we're going to somewhere far away where they don't have reception or something. Mm -hmm. So the good all thing is it's already snowed, so you can see the mm -hmm. edges, you know, all the outline where the snow is. Yep. Oh. Tino's probably going to be in the skid loader anyway. Oh. I never thought in my life, man. I know you didn't. That's okay. okay. You're, mo <laughs> you're mostly going to be doing <laughs> sidewalks and easy stuff. So here you got to go all the way up to the curb. I watched a lot of videos though, ever since you told me. Okay, good. <laughs> Any of mine? I watched like, like uh, yeah, I watched some of yours. Okay, you should be fine then. <laughs> Eric's here. You better take it easy. He almost hit that car. Yeah. License and registration, please. How you doing, sir? My bad. Tina looks tired and you look oh, awake no. and you're the one that overslept. Yeah. I, I did. I did. Yeah. I am. I'm gonna get a little book so I can write tickets. So I'm gonna come <laughs> up to you and write a ticket every time you're late. It's fifty. 
I'm looking at the radar here. You can see the blue dot, hopefully. So it looks like the snow is gonna gonna lighten up in the next half hour to uh, probably an hour. We don't do the sidewalks around the church. The church has their own people. <laughs> oh, that's it's not even funny, man. You did the, no. The first year I came here, not the first year. The first year I had bugs back, and we came here. I started plowing a lot and I came all the way around and bugs had shoveled all the sidewalks at the church and it was thick like eight inches super oh, heavy snow and you know he was going furious like ah, 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 <laughs> the whole way and then I pulled up next to him I was like bugs we don't do the sidewalks here at the church oh. he was really mad yeah. really? <laughs> <laughs> take these two machines to the gas station Eric for fuel uh, on your way to the gas station Get the, get the house that we poured the driveway and then go to the gas station and then I'm going to meet you there and we'll fill those up and then I'll tell you what to do. Oh man, I don't have no money. I forgot my wallet. No way. How'd you forget your wallet? How much money you got? That much. <laughs> Six dollars? Man, hey, 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 hey. At least you got money. At least you got money. Eric, go start with the houses. This house right here, you keep forgetting. The one I'm pointing at. The first one, as soon as you take a right out of the RV. parking lot, the the RV, right? there's a house. Yeah, the one with the RV. The, the, the one we poured, go do that first, and then do all the houses all the way around. By that time, I'll be back with my wallet. Okay. I'm gonna take one of these guys and show them how to do the, how to fill the salt at the yard. Okay. The F-350's dead. No way. It won't start. <laughs> no, the battery's fine. It cranks and cranks, it won't fire. It's dead in my driveway. So I'm gonna sell it, 2,500 cash. Oh, no. And I'm not borrowing you 2,500 so you can buy it here. <laughs> you think, you're I knew he was thinking about asking me right now. No, can I, was, I borrow 2,500? No, I was asking you. Like, you gotta <laughs> he give it right back, I'll take the truck. <laughs> take Tino like in your car mm -hmm. and drive him around and show him all the city sidewalks. Okay. I'll just go get my wallet with you and I'll show you how to get salt. Okay. And then I'll come back and then we'll meet up over here. Okay, we're just pulling into the old yard. I gotta show Big Ray how to load salt. I'm literally gonna have you do this, just so I know that you know how to do it. Okay, got it. Just don't hit my truck with the equipment. Don't bust anything, just go slow. Did you? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, first thing you gotta do is take the tarp off when you get here. So you're gonna take these three off, you leave the front one on. So these have little balls on the ends. You just pull them down and undo the ball. Yeah. Same thing on the other side. Oh man. Did that happen? I don't know what you did. You got it stuck. <laughs> what did I do? This is not going good already, Ray. Oh, Training man. day. Now if I was in Las Vegas, you would call me and say, boss, I can't get the tarp off the salter. <laughs> You gotta come back. <laughs> um, Let me see. I, I punching it's not gonna make it pop out. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. All right, good. Now you gotta go up there and take the tarp. And you just you roll the tarp that way and just kind of throw it over the cab of the truck. Uh, yep. Just like that. Good? Yep. Now come down. So far, easy, right? So far. Okay. Right here. Got it. So I'll have an extension cord. So before you start it, unplug it. And then when you're done and you park it, right. plug it back in. That's the block heater. Just like the semi. Right. Exactly like the semi. <laughs> so, oh. So these latches, how you close the door, because right now it's gonna see it, oh, it's, see it's it, made yeah. to get caught. Mm -hmm. So you take your finger and you put that up. See that? Yep. Put it up and then you close it a little bit as it's up it. and then you get your finger out of there it's kind of their archaic hitch system it's kind of lame but it works now you turn the key to the on position and let the glow plugs go all the way to zero it'll have that timer in there
That button you gotta push first. Yeah, yeah. And then grab a big scoop of salt and then load it in there. Got it. Slowly. Get a nice full bucket. Throttle it up. And I'll put it back. Okay, that wasn't bad. I mean, that was really slow. Yeah. I'm just not good at training people because I, <laughs> I lose my patience and I just want to kick them out and do it myself. Yeah, but know. you never learn that way. Yeah, let me learn, please. Yeah, I'm trying, man. <laughs> I'm trying. How you doing, fast? I almost punched the window out. I I'll be honest. I don't want to mess up your stuff. <laughs> now I you jump know? back up there, roll the tarp down, and strap it all back how it was. You can jump down now. You can get those from down here. Careful though, careful. I'm trying to keep my workman's compensation costs mm -hmm. under control. Yeah, Easy. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's go. I'm gonna do the same thing with Tino. That's why I only put one scoop of salt in here. I didn't tell him to do this, he's just doing it. I gotta tell him what to do. Nice load, Eric. Nice load. Hey, don't push that across the street. You pushed it right by that guy's mailbox. People are real sensitive about their mailboxes. Don't push snow by the mailbox. How's it going? Good. Where's your helpers? Oh, I got three helpers out there. Shoveling away? Yeah, one's blowing and the other two are following them shoveling. Okay, perfect. I'm salting. Yeah, just do heavy salt and I think it'll probably be okay then. Right. Okay. We got a big one coming tomorrow though. The 12 inches or something like that? I don't know how much, but it's going to be a lot. Take your van. Yeah. Okay. And um, I want you guys to come to the gas station. I'm going to show you where we fuel up and all that. Okay. Sounds good. You know the BP right here in the corner? Yes, I do. That's where we're going. I'll be there soon. All right. Yeah. Bring Tino with you. I'm just trying to show them every little aspect of what they might have to do. It's it's a solid three inches already. Yeah. And it's not even done. He's driving a skid loader. <laughs> it takes a little while to get here. That one is really slow. Yeah. That only has, it's only a single speed. I'm on Chick fil A. Oh, you took a big bag, dude. I'm like, the lady gonna tell you something. You ain't that looking at you. Man, Ray, you filled up the whole garbage. How much Chick fil A do you guys eat? She gonna come out, she'll be like, you know the big bin down the back. Man. It takes like five minutes, Eric. Remember last time? It takes too long. Yeah, if you don't wanna be strong, you just gonna make so it'll say odometer just put zero or one or whatever. The odometer doesn't matter. Okay. I don't want you calling me saying what's the pin. I won't call you. I'll call Eric. No. Uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna so be together. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna, be, gonna be really busy. I barely get a signal. We're bro. gonna be at the restaurant. <laughs> we're <laughs> and make sure you put diesel in the machines. Okay. Diesel, 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 okay. diesel. Okay. Thank you. Run down on your phone too. Okay. I see that. $60? It is full, Eric. Look. <laughs> Why would you? Oh Thanks for letting me know, though. Oh. Where did Tino go? Uh, restaurant. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to show him a couple things, and he hey, runs yeah, right to the close. bathroom. So I'm going to take Tino now and show him how to load salt. Okay. And now you take you take him and go around. Okay. And then when I get back, you can actually start doing the city sidewalks. 
walk? No, we join the car. We're not oh walking. That's big, man. This is big, dude. It's long. <laughs> yeah, it's, like a, it's like a mile. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to walk. There's no way. It's wet like that. I literally you? bought this machine to plow city sidewalks. That's good. It is a perfect uh, yeah. size and everything. It is. So just go look at the now we just have to sit and wait for Tino to get out of the bathroom. I want to do the church here first, then have him do the condos last. The people at the condos are so picky. Everything's got to be perfect. So if we plow it now and then there's a little dusting on top of it, they're not going to be happy with that. This truck is just beautiful for snow plowing. All right, I'm gonna pick up Tino and pretty much do the same thing that I just did with Big Ray. Tino, you're gonna come with me. I'm gonna show you how to load salt. Okay. So if it snows when we're gone, it's you and Big Ray. Okay. And you're gonna be in the skid loader. Okay. So when you're salting, you salt about this speed. Okay. And you can just leave the controls where they are. It's just on and off right here. And there's a light. Okay. You know, the light in the back. See behind us? Now watch, turn the light on. Okay. I'll do three, three times here. Okay. Well, I just salted on that way. I did once, this is twice, and I'll come back okay, for a third right. time right there. Because Ray don't really have much experience with this kind of stuff at all. Okay. So this kind of stuff is gonna be on you, but he'll be here to help. Okay. It has a vibrator. So when it gets towards the end, you gotta use the vibrator to get all the salt out. And every once in a while I'll turn it on, you know, just to just to get the stuff to fall down into it. Yeah. Alright, so when you pull in here, just turn around like this and park right in front of the salt. I'm just showing you. Okay. So undo these three on both sides. Put the headlights on. Up here. There you go. Tino actually has quite a bit of experience running equipment. Ray has next to none, but Tino knows what he's doing. All right, that's it. Got her? All right, Tino's pretty good at that. So that's good. I don't have no worries with him at all. It's pretty self-explanatory, this parking lot is anyway. I just gotta get salt on here because they're all coming in right now. All right, Tino. Give it a rip. Back in by that bus, you know, do one pass through there and then just follow Eric as he finishes here. You know, just keep going back and forth or around and you can see I kept about, you know, eight feet between the passes. Okay. You can you saw the speed, you know, on and off there. So, you got it? Yep. All right. Normally what I do, I'll back in to where I need to back in, okay. then I turn it on, then I go. Because normally you back up way too slow. Okay. You know and what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually back up where I want to go. Then you can focus too more on the mirrors. You're not worried about the salt. Okay. And then once you turn it on, you're just focused on the salt. Right. 
So as you're making your passes, Ray, yeah, with yeah. the salt, you know, he's, he's going at about the right speed right now. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Got it. And then your passes, see the last time he went was right here. You're gonna keep your tires about, I don't know, about eight feet away or so from the last pass that you made. Got it. Cause that salt's flinging, you know what I mean? Yep. So see, watch what he's gonna there do. I just showed him. See, he's gonna stay. He's a little close, but nothing wrong with that. He's a little too close to the last pass. He's wasting a little salt, but there's, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. He's only about four feet, but. Eight feet. Yep. Got it. And you gotta get everything. You can't just forget about stuff. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things when you're salting, you gotta remember where you went last. Jump in there with him and you'll get a feel for the speed. Let him go with you so he can get a feel for the speed and everything. And show him the buttons and the light. Okay. Open the door so he can get in. Eric's almost done back here. This is good too, if I get sick or something, it'll be handled, you know? I don't have to worry about me having to do it every single time. Normally when I plow this lot, I start right by the building and they go back and forth and back and forth and you keep moving the snow this way, this way, this way, this way, you know, and you push it off to the side. And then, you know, on this row of the cars, you would start here and, and go back and forth and work it this way and then push it off. You, you don't normally, you normally wouldn't start at the end where all the mall, snow is mostly gonna go. Normally you would start over here and then work it over there. You would, that would, those would be your last passes over there. I'll turn you into a pro. Yeah, okay, go ahead. And every time you plow, always make sure the boom's all the way down. You don't wanna put too much pressure and lift. I saw your front tires coming off the ground. They should never come off the ground. It should always be flat. You lose half your traction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, Plus it puts a lot of pressure on the blade. You, you wear out your blades faster. As soon as you're done with this, condos. You gotta get that building there too, remember first. We do this lot. No, we don't do the sidewalks. This is the lot? Yeah, just the lot. Okay. You just push it off the edge there. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. Yeah, it is. Oh, he almost fell down. So there will always be the snow blower, the shovels, the gas can, and salt. But they used all the salt. I gotta go, I gotta go get more today. So this is my stuff right here. Okay. Okay. Normally you won't use this truck to plow at all. It's just for salt. Okay. Or if the ski loader breaks and you really have to, but the ski loader can do everything much faster. So we do this house right in front of us. Okay. So when you come down the street, right in right into it. Plow that one. And that then, one too? No, just the driveway. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The house says we only do the driveways and we don't salt them. And then this one too. Right here. Okay. This is the one we poured in the summer. You remember it or not really? Not really. We didn't do the approach. We just did the driveway. Had a thick edge over there. We did the little front sidewalk. Nothing coming to you? No. Mm. We did so many. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Come out, take a right. You do that one, this one, this one, okay. this one, this one. This guy likes to snow blow. He loves snow blowing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he really loves snow blowing. And he's got a real nice tractor, mm -hmm. so he likes to use it. He comes out and he'll do it sometimes. Um, but it is our responsibility. So it's not hard to remember because they're all in a, they're all lined up. You should be able to remember it because it's right around the corner. Yeah, all three of them and this one. That's it. Yeah. Okay. See all the sidewalks are recovered. He just did them, but the city comes through yeah. and they blast all the snow right back on the city <laughs> sidewalk. So we do this too? The city sidewalk? Yeah. yeah okay. He showed you this. I'm pretty oh, sure. That's it. Okay. Yeah. yeah all the way to the street. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this driveway we do. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, he forgot it. I told him to do all the driveways, but he didn't. So we do this driveway. This is a long driveway. And this road is rough. Yeah, it's rough. That's good enough for this driveway. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna tear my truck up on this thing. All the driveways are really easy to remember. 
This one's a, you know, a little bit separated, so you'll have to remember it. I really kind of think we should just go to breakfast <laughs> and let the snow stop because this is just, this is all gonna get recovered again and we're gonna have to plow everything again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think we should just go to breakfast yeah. and then yeah. and then come back and finish because it's still not done snowing. Yeah. It's kind of it's, it was supposed to be done by like five, six at the latest. Now it's almost eight and it's still snowing. So yeah, just, that, this is slippery. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not good, it's not that great. I know. I wonder if Odyssey's open. I'll figure out if it's open. Yeah, we'll go today. We're just gonna go to breakfast and let it stop before we do it for the final time. It's almost done. I hope it's almost done. It's open. I love the Odyssey. Oh. They have good food. Good. We have um, six. Six. All right. Busy, busy. Yeah. I got to make more money so I can That's keep right. paying my bills here. That's right. That's... Spent half my paycheck here every oh, week. My. You know that's true. <laughs> Marnie. So, like, if somebody's washing their hands in there, they can just look in the mirror and see you. No way. Yeah, the mirror in there is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Tino came in. He drank half that water, and then he said, I'm going to go sit in the truck. I was like, why would you go sit in the cold truck when we were in the restaurant? That is a really satisfying meal. The steak, eggs, and avocado. Yeah. After you eat that, you're good for the rest of the day for the most part. I used to carry my wallet in my back pocket, and you don't realize it messes up your back. You put, because you're sitting on it all day. So you're like this, I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, it does, it messes up your back. And then I start putting it in my front pocket. I'm like, why did I do this my whole life? Hey, but it depends on how big is your wallet. You know, well, if you got a lot of Benjamins yeah. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, well, your back. you got a point. Yeah. Look at Big Ray, he's got the little Louis Vuitton bag. He got too much money, yeah, he needs a big corner. Now. He's got the little Louis Vuitton man well, purse right there. Yeah. I've been eating this like pretty much every day. That's good. That's Avocado, good. Like, eggs, like, and steak. I like all the eggs. My dad used to make those eggs like that. It's really good, good man. Good I like it's really good. good. Here we go. Thank you. We gotta go finish. Condos are probably calling, complaining already, because now the sun popped out. Here goes half my paycheck again. All right, sounds good. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that even. I'll meet you over there. So don't even say that. Eighty-seven dollars. How much do you think I make in a week? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. Stay safe out there. For sure. And then I'm going to show him how I salt the condos, and I'm going to show you how I salt the condos. All right. Go over there. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come behind you with salt. So to put this truck out of four-wheel drive and in the four-wheel drive, you put it in the neutral, the knob's right here. Right. I got it in four-wheel drive, but I don't need it anymore right now. So you... If you don't need it, you put it in two-wheel drive. Yep. It'll say that, shift in progress, and now it's in two-wheel drive. Right. So neutral first, and then switch yep. it. I normally keep the window down when I salt, because you can hear it. You hear oh, it? That's good, yeah. Yeah, you can hear it, so you know it's coming out. So whatever you have extra, when you go to the salt pile and park the truck, run the rest out into the salt pile. Never yeah. leave salt in the truck, because it freezes. I know it sounds funny, right, but no, salt I freezes into yeah. a solid block. Yeah. So now, you know now I'm turning it on again. See, I'm keeping you know a little bit of distance from where I just was. About eight feet. Yeah, about eight feet, six, Seven, eight feet, whatever. I mean, it's not precision. You know, you just want to make sure you're getting salt everywhere. Everything's covered. You got enough on. When this one gets stuck, it automatically will go in reverse and try to unstick itself. You don't have to do anything. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So the condos start here, obviously. Yeah. We do all the private sidewalks. See the steps over there? Yep. Okay, so wait. there's times we got to do it. So you got to shovel them and salt them. You know how to salt with a bucket? Yeah. You just throw some yeah, on by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. As long as you do it. Oh my goodness. Who's this guy flying so fast? It's Mike. Yeah. And Eric would have backed out and they would have went cup. Well, he's a little thing he has, though. Uh, That's awesome. He's got a little four wheeler. <laughs> What's up? Right. Hey, don't hit my truck. Okay. Caref careful, don't hit my truck. Oh, I won't. It's already got a big scratch in it. <laughs> you almost done? Almost. Man, that snow didn't want to stop. No, I was, I was surprised about that. I know. I just got to do a little sidewalk and then go touch up some driveways over there and then I'm, I'm done. No, I tried out that, that uh, 
that snowblower tractor that I have. Oh yeah. That little orange thing. Yeah, yeah. It actually works out really good until you find a crack on the, oh, on the sidewalk. And then kapow! I smashed my forehead. You the did? Window. Yeah. <laughs> there's strobes here. You put these on. You hit the button. There's strobes on the back of the salter. Plug this. This is for the top of the truck only. Okay. That just turns this on. Okay, got it. And then the strobes on the salter are here. And then I always put the light on the salter too. So you back right in the center of the driveway. You don't back into the garage door. That's important. Okay. Got it. All right. But when you put the salter on, if you back too close to the garage door, it just plasters the door with salt. Oh, cool. And then it all falls down. So they got a whole pile of salt right against the garage door. And nobody likes that. So when you turn the salter on, you should hear the salt hitting the garage door. But it shouldn't be a ton. It should just, you should just hear some hit. Now listen, got it. roll your window down and listen. You push the button to turn it on, and then you go. You hear that? Yeah. That was actually a little bit too much, but that wasn't bad. That's acceptable. Okay. So those are the straight driveways. Now these driveways here are a little trickier. Now you gotta watch out for Mike. He's coming through. Yeah. Mike doesn't play. Man, I like that thing. You do? Yeah. They don't my house. It's the same thing, you angle it in and kind of get the truck aimed towards that back corner of the garage. You'll hear it hit the garage door just a little bit. And now this time you keep it on because you're finishing the whole driveway. Got it. You see it? I'm gonna let you try some. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a straight one, so super easy. Stop well short, turn the salter on. Just a little bit of salt against the garage door. And you get out of there. So he'll be done in a second and I'll let you do it. And you're gonna you're gonna look at the garage door. Right, I don't want to hit it. That's why I'm <laughs> Well thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Ooh, my heart's beating a little faster already. Hey, just like mine. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Training this, day. This, not, it's easy. Easy. It is. It, it actually is really easy. Here comes Big Ray. Man, man, he makes me really nervous. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. I mean, I'm standing here now, I'm not nervous, but it makes me nervous thinking he's gonna be doing this by himself at night and I won't be here. Hang on. Now, before you take off, yeah. put it in drive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, re that's really important. I know. That might be the most important thing, Ray. Most definitely. Oh, I'm even more nervous than before. Oh. <laughs> okay, now turn it on. Give it a second. And now go. That wasn't bad. He turned it off a little too early on the approach. And he need to, needed to get started a little earlier. But that wasn't bad. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. So we don't do that in there? Yeah, we do all that. Okay. But Eric's not done, he just started. So there's nothing to salt in there until he's done. Got it. I'm gonna go get Tino and I'm gonna have him saw a couple driveways. That's it for you now. I'm gonna have you just go. I'm gonna show Tino the rest of the stuff to do. And then tomorrow we'll get more practice. Sounds good. Sounds but good. I think that's a good start. Look, my daughter's here. Joanne is here. Hi, Joanna. You get to go sledding right now? Yeah. Well, that's fun. So the, the, the yeah, you don't have to touch it. Okay. You, once you put it on, it's on. Okay. Good. That was perfect right there. Turn the salter off. Oh, you don't really need to see the light, you just once on, once off. Okay. 
Okay, let's try this one. It's a little more difficult. A little, little bit against the garage door, but it's not piled up. That was acceptable. That was good. Tino gets the hang of stuff pretty quick. He doesn't take a lot of hand holding. Once he knows how to do it, he just does it. Perfect. Perfect. You can't leave too much snow on the driveway, like lines and all that stuff. You gotta get them nice. This driveway over here, there's a whole bunch of snow right in the middle of the driveway still. The one next to him. I'm gonna drop you off and you gotta hand salt the city sidewalks here. I'll Perfect. show you what to do. Yes, sir. So both sides of the street here, we gotta salt the city sidewalks. You know, from basically the fire hydrant all the way past the, the, the okay. entrance. Oh, the entrance? Okay. Yeah, and then same thing on that side, about to the flag. All the salter actually has a really cool feature I'll show you. Both buttons at the same time. Look at that. Yeah. That's nice. You should be good. If you need more, just let me know. I'll be over there. Okay. Hi. What are you doing here? Oh. Hi, Grace. How are you doing? Okay. How's it going? Good. We're almost done. I was just training Big Ray and Tino for when we're at World of Concrete. Yeah. Mike's behind you. You better go. Cause he's kind of wild. I'm just salting the driveways and I gotta tell Eric how to push the snow up and over the curb. I tried to tell him but he's doing the same thing. He's just pushing it up to the edge and lifting the plow and leaving. I, you, gotta, you gotta pick it up and push it back so you got room for the next storm. You don't just leave it down and keep driving. You actually have to lift the plow up because otherwise you're going to tear the grass. Let me just show you. Just like that. That way the next time we come, we're not going to have a nightmare on our hands. Just like that it's just all little stuff you know because when you're working at three in the morning like if i were going to come and plow and you know you're trying to get stuff done really fast and then there's nowhere to put the snow that's frustrating in the middle of the night you know this is way too sloppy here you got to get those edges nice and crisp see that you missed the whole edge How much you got left? You done? Done. You got everything though? Yeah. You didn't run out? No. Are, oh. you, are you going on the way? Okay. Well, jump in then. Right. We're going to go get those bags of salts while we're waiting for them. We'll get a dozen for tomorrow. That'll be good. Okay. Gas station salt. Probably do this. Make it a little easier. I know. Okay. Hi, Hannah. How's it going? How's school? Good. All right. Driving to school was not. You almost crashed? It was my first time driving in the snow. Oh. No, it was. It was the huge hill coming. You know. Down. Down. Did you slide? Yeah. You almost crashed. Oh. Dad, how how are you supposed to stop yourself? I was going so slow. You were going really slow? Yes. And I just literally just slid down the entire hill. Oh, I don't I'm glad you didn't crash. Oh, that's a Okay. Come on, three is not that much. I 
pressured them into carrying more than one. Is that all of them? One more. One more? All right, see you later. Keep your phone on because I'm not sure what time it's starting tomorrow. Mike said tomorrow morning early. Tino said noon. I don't know what the weather's saying now. But tomorrow's a big one. Let there be no snow. Oh, we're getting snow, Eric. We are getting snow. Okay, I have a few driveways of salt. I didn't quite finish, just about. So we'll go knock those out. See what I'm talking about? People being picky? That's what I'm talking about right there. You leave any crumbs in the driveway, they'll be out there with a shovel we literally just finished. They will shovel up that crumb and they will send you an email and say that the plow guy did a horrible job and I had to go shovel as soon as they left. I know the guys roll their eyes when I say, hey, you can't leave crumbs, you gotta get it crisp and tidy. But they don't know that that's the type of person that I have to deal with. I actually had a couple more stops. I gotta stop at the yard here. I'm gonna plow this out real quick. And then I'm gonna go back to the old yard, get some starting fluid. I have some in my personal pickup. And then I'm gonna try to get the F350 to fire on starting fluid. There's probably about nine inches. And it's, it's crusty hard underneath. That's where a V-plow comes in handy. V-plows are perfect for busting through situations like this. Let's bust through this, hopefully. And I really need a skid loader over here is what I need. going good there for a second. Oh, wow. That's a real pain trying to plow that. The ground's not frozen, so it was warm out. Gravel never froze under there, so plowing it, I don't have any feet on the plow, as you could probably guess. And it just digs in, and then you're trying to like adjust the height, keep the plow just off the ground, but that doesn't really work either. So. Man, that was ugly. That was ugly. Look at this. Just dug into the mud. Okay, I just pulled up here. You guys might recognize Eclipse Printing. I've been in here before. I get all my hats, my hoodies, and all that stuff done here. It's really good guys here. How's it going? How's it going? You guys look busy. That's good. Did you get all my hats done? Oh yeah. All right. Good job. How's it going, man? Good. Good to see you. Just want to pick up that order. Sure. All right, man. I'll pull around. Thanks right. again. Right. Appreciate Sounds it. Good, man. I'll meet you back there. Yep. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take them right back out. All right. Thanks, man. Pretty cool. Appreciate it. Appreciate again. it. Thank yeah, you. Uh, we'll talk soon. I'm sure. All right. Okay, those hats are for you guys. World of Concrete, like I said this morning, I have 200, which should be more than enough for the meetup. But once I run out, I'm out. And I'm only giving those away at the meetup. I'm gonna go to the old yard, grab some starting fluid, and see if I can get the F-350 going. I think I bought starting fluid. Oh, yes I did. Wow. All right, I'm back at home. I gotta get all this snow off the hood so I can even open it. And then we'll give it a little, little shot of ether and see what happens. Okay, I didn't get it on camera, but it started right up, which is really good because now I can go empty this salt out. But at the same time, if I take it to a mechanic now, there's a pretty good chance where He's not going to be able to find anything wrong with it unless it's through a code. So I'm going to take this now and get the salt out of here. That's number one priority. I don't know why it wouldn't start like that, but I tried last night. I probably tried to start it 10 times before I quit. I just stopped at the gas station. 
for beef jerking like a dummy, I shut the truck off. So we're hoping for the best here. Like Got brand new. I just thought of something as I was salting here. I wonder if Nate the Great has something where he can read the code off this truck. I don't know why I didn't think of him. Let me try to give him a call. Hello? Nate the Great. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Good. How you been? Not too bad. How you been doing? Good. Really good. But <clears throat> I was wondering, do you think maybe there's a fuel injection problem where there's maybe a seal or an O-ring or something? Um, if, if it so after you got it started off ether, it yep. continued to run with no issues, no problem? It ran, as soon as I put ether and turned the key, it fired up and it started running on fuel right away, no problem. And it started running on fuel right away? Yeah. Alright. Are there glow plugs in that truck? Yeah, yeah, and they work. It could, it could have been an issue with your priming, such yeah. as uh, an uh, o-ring on the injector. That's um, what I was thinking too. All right, that's kind of what I was afraid of, you know, one of those things where you just have to let it break on its own before you get it fixed. <laughs> I don't know if you're interested, but I, I could really use you for, you know, a little bit of time again in the shop like we did last winter if you're interested or if you need any work, you know, if you have oh, a... Yeah, absolutely. If you want to do the same kind yeah. of scenario we did last year where I come for, you know, one or two days, you got all the ready to go, absolutely, I can do that. Ah, that's kind of what I expected. We'll just see what we'll see what she does for us here in the next couple days. The F-350 ran absolutely perfect. Uh, back to the yard here. I ended up putting it right next to the block wall. And that way, if it doesn't start, then we can still get the skid loader past it, grab salt, and load the other truck. It's always good to have a spare truck, and that's exactly why. So they're saying six plus inches of snow tomorrow and 45 plus mile an hour winds, which makes it much more difficult. You get all the blowing and drifting snow, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Well, you guys saw Big Ray today and you'll be seeing him here and there. Uh, I told him I'd give him some part-time work just to help get him through the winter here. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun. I love having Big Ray around. I know you guys like Big Ray too. Uh, so we'll be seeing more of him. All right, I guess that's it. I guess we'll just wait and see what happens with the weather. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.